there's a wasp or summer. Hey Ram. Hello. Welcome to another video. I'll be quick. I recently got back from uh, doing the Sky Trail up in the Isle of Skye, Scotland. Instead of just talking about my kit throughout the video, I just thought I'd do a quick kit video of everything that I've took with me, and then you'll know if you watch the series what I'm using and why. Forgot to weigh it. I've just weighed it, it's 18 pounds, which is that kg. We'll start with the outside. I, nothing that I'm wearing now except for my hat, which is just this buff cap. That's the only thing that I'm wearing that I took with me. We'll start with the shoes. These are the Ultra Olympus 5s. And I've moved away from the, uh, the Ultras, which are a flat sole, uh, to use these, which have got more of an elevated heel on them. And I've taken these on a few hikes. I might do a full video on my second channel about these because I've got a lot to say about them, but I'm really enjoying them. They've put some miles in and uh, they didn't let me down. And I chose them of, ah, midgy, getting me. Horsefly. Yeah, so I went with these over hiking boots because I knew I was going to get wet and I would rather have something that dried quickly and that was lighter. On my feet, clothes. This Rab Sun hoodie. I just thought instead of wearing sunscreen, let's just go full coverage, keep sun off me because I didn't half get burnt because the sun came out for a couple of days. Socks, got some new socks. I just took two pairs of two pairs of merino wool hiking socks. Wore them for the first half of the hike, these for the second half, and then had a pair of darn tough socks in my bag for on an evening. And of an evening, I would just wear a lightweight Aklima merino wool top and some of the more sturdy Aklima uh, merino wool leggings. So I made sure that these were dry at all times, as well as my damn tough socks, and they would go on as soon as I got in my tent. And I hiked in, as well as my Rab Sun thing, these, which are the Fjell Raven hiking leggings. I'll put links and information to everything below so you can have a little look yourself at more in more depth. I also took these shorts which I cut the liner out of just for swimming in and if it got too hot I was going to put these on which it didn't but I did use them to swim in a couple of times. I've been bit by whatever that thing was. Horsefly got me. Devastated. Also on the outside of the bag, Patagonia Forget the name of it, I will put links for everything below. But it's the Patagonia down jacket, super lightweight. Wore that a couple of times. Plaggy bag, which I just use as a bin bag to put all my like empty camping meals and stuff in. We've got uh, the rain cover, the Osprey rain cover, which came in handy. Also, my rain jacket. All easy accessible, easily accessible on the outside of the pack. This is a Ron Hill and Mountain Warehouse collaboration. Very thin, no frills, but it keeps me dry. And in fact, <laughs> everything's still a little bit wet because I got caught out in a storm. I'm not really comfy here, am I? Still kneel up. Is that better? Can, if I that downward angle, it sort of works better, doesn't it? Can you see up my skirt? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Trekking poles, because I took a trekking pole tent. These are my black diamond cork handle trekking poles. I've put some miles in with these. You can't even see my face now. These are my cork handle black diamond trekking poles. Sorry. Oh, I'm having a nightmare with camera, mate. Sun's in my eyes. Right, in the top of the bag. <laughs> Head net for the midges. It did come in handy and needed that. Map for map time, guidebook, for guidebook times, 
my Garmin InReach Mini. Just in case anything batshit happens. <laughs> Sunglasses. Stop me getting a headache. Our first aid kit, which is just a tick key, blister pads, some aspirin, and my bread bags to go over my dry socks to put my wet shoes on for my camp shoes. Uh, and then just this is which is my toiletries. We've just got, I've got some electrolyte tablets in there, toothpaste, chafing gel, toothbrush, lip balm, uh, and wax earplugs just to, for when the wind kicks off and you can't, you just want to block everything out. On the inside of the lid, I have a sponge. Oh, is that better? I'm trying to get the right angle. I should have done all this before I started, shouldn't I? Yeah, micro sponge, this just gets rid of all the um, all the condensation on the morning, then wring it out, and that's good to go. Smidge for the midges. Knife. Just in case, really, but didn't use that either. Head torch, the Petzl Bindi. A bit of cash and a bank card, and that's that in that top bit. On the outside of me, I did have a chest pouch, which attaches to my bag. Uh, in there I would have my phone which had my GPS on it and also these which are the OS sun gloves. Stops you getting blisters when you're using your hiking poles and keeps the sun off your hands as well. I kept them in there and any sort of bars or anything that I was eating on the trail they'd go in there as well. Just stuff that I need access to along with a waterproof sandwich bag when it starts raining you need to put your phone in there and everything so that's that my cup kit which is my tux titanium 500 milliliter pot in there i've got a little gas canister and a cloth to stop it rattling round and to use to hold the handle and to dry stuff all purpose cloth Sinoc water bag to fill up to then be filtered oh, i've got that as well the stand for the gas canister this ain't good is it i ain't doing a good job i keep looking about with camera oh well that's how it is isn't it the sawyer micro squeeze water filter long titanium spoon and the stove was the soto wind master i also took a lighter as well so that's my cup kit and my water filter system tent of choice was the lanshan 2 because it's easy to put up with the uh, hiking poles oh man come on stay still paul just stay still that'll be better it's easy to put up with hiking poles and it doesn't weigh too much and it doesn't take up too much room in the bag and it hasn't let me down yet it's seen me it's seen me do a lot of miles and i still love getting in it at the end of the day it's fast to pitch fast to take down you know i go through all these fancy tents and i have a few tents to to fall back on and then i go on these long distance hikes and when it really matters and when i'm like right i need to do the miles but be comfy in it i reach for this the lunch i keep getting bitten I reached for this, the Lanshan 2 food bag. I just carried uh, four camping meals, dehydrated meals, uh, a bit of jerky and some cliff bars. Then once I got to Portree halfway, I just restocked. I'm getting eaten alive, lads. I'm getting absolutely chewed to bits by these bugs like. Uh, electrics bags is kept in an, uh, an Alp kit bag. It just had an anchor charger with necessary leads. It had my, uh, my flex tail pump for pumping up the airbed. Airbed was the, I don't, I mean, I just roll it up, fold it like that and then put it in, don't mess about putting it back in anything. The Thermarest Neo Air X-Therm Large. I've had that for years, trusted. Uh, these are the Nature Hike Down Trousers. Uh, just for an evening, just in case it got cold. I used them once. And my sleeping bag. My Rab. Uh, I forget. My Rab something or other. I'll put it on here. 
which it kept me pretty warm anyway. I didn't really need my down. If I, I wouldn't have took me down uh, trousers. That's the only thing I wouldn't have taken is my down trousers uh, and my my rubble bag, which everything that you've seen goes inside to maximise waterproofness. On my pillow, which is the uh, big Agnes pillow. I didn't take a shit trowel. I just think that I can use the end of these to make a hole just as much as a trowel. Them trowels don't really do much. The best I've used a stone, a stick, or I can use these. Uh, and then some, took some wet wipes and some tissue as well for that. And that's everything. That's everything that I took with me for the Sky Trail. I'll leave links to everything below so you can have a more of an in-depth look. But I'm getting eaten alive by horse flies. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the next video will be part one of the Sky Trail. I don't know if the videos are going to be any good, but I'll tell you something, as far as the adventure goes, it was amazing. I saw some amazing things. I got all the weather. It was an unbelievable hike, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Right, let's go before we get eaten alive. Have I forgot anything? No, that's everything. Well done, mate.